the church is established as the Lord's people become truly converted to his gospel and experience a mighty change of heart. Church leaders lovingly invite others to repent and make needed changes that will help them become true followers of Christ. In the last couple of months or so, uh, the elders had started talking about Andrew Bernard, who's a returned missionary, who's you know, not been out to church for a long time. Um, but he's, you know, showing a keen interest in, in talking about the gospel again. Andrew, a less active member, told the missionaries that he would attend church one Sunday. When he didn't come, the bishop gathered several ward leaders in the hallway to make a plan to reach out to him quickly before his desire to return was lost. As they spoke together, they felt impressed that the bishop himself should make a visit. Hi, I'm Bishop Linden. What I wanted to make sure of uh, with Andrew was not just that I was there to be, a, you know, someone to have general chit chat about, or, you know, just become a friend if you like. I actually wanted to go there as well um, with the message that, you know, the gospel of Jesus Christ is true. Um, the power of the atonement is there for for everyone. So I shared with him the the parable of the prodigal son, and we emphasised a few principles in there about about repentance and about the door always being open for anyone who might want to return to the gospel again. As the bishop taught Andrew from the scriptures, the spirit of the Lord was strong. The bishop bore testimony of the love of the Savior, and Andrew could feel that love. And I left the, with him the invitation to, to come back to church again. As church leaders lovingly invite others to come unto Christ through repentance, the Spirit touches hearts and motivates people to action. Though each must choose to respond to those promptings, those who act in faith are changed through the Savior's atonement. As they become truly converted, real growth occurs and the Lord's Church is established. <laughs>